We have to head back to Wheeling where Don Sloan is standing by with a full report on Monroe Central with Seminoles and Waterford Wildcat Contest. Don, take it away. Thanks, Bill. The River Pilot lost the first loss of the season for Monroe County, but Monroe Central hoping to keep their undefeated season going tonight in Woodsfield as they took on Waterford. Let's go to the Monroe Central. <laughs> Waterford fumbled the opening kickoff. Then it's Luke Shoemaker. Handoff, six yards, touchdown. 8 nothing. Monroe Central on top. On the kickoff, here's Monroe Central. Waterford takes it, looking for a running room. Fumble. Scramble for it, and Eric Hamilton comes up with it for Monroe Central. Then it's Joey Cressy, drops back, looks left, finds Scott Wilson, touchdown, 15-0 Monroe Central on top. Monroe Central back on offense. Joey Cress rolling, he's looking, Dustin Hughes all alone, Hughes, 20 yards in that pickup, then it's Dustin Robison. Look at these moves. Cuts to the outside, cuts back, sheds a tackle, into the end zone. 21 0 at that point. Let's check out the final. Monroe Central 48, Waterford nothing. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Don. So, two teams that were expected to win tonight, Buckeye Local and Monroe Central, don't disappoint. And they help themselves in the playoff race. Yeah, you, you've got to like the way things are going for Buckeye Local right now. They control their own destiny. Big game next week, though, as they mm -hmm. host Martins Ferry. And, uh, of course, uh, that'll be a matchup of a couple pretty nice backs there in, in Kevin Young and Chet Poblish. Uh, Monroe Central remains undefeated. Uh, as we saw, River uh, became the first uh, victim from uh, Monroe County to lose a football game. So we'll see if they can rebound. Should be very, very interesting. Last week.